who uh, just came from uh, basically the clouds to knock them off. It's been a huge week for the Giants, uh, given that they uh, dropped their skipper, uh, as Tom Morris has told us, or broke the story last week. And I think it's in some ways it's it's divided the footy public as to whether it was the right decision or not. All you gentlemen have been captains. Yep. Right decision or not? Well, I think he wanted a better response, absolutely, from his players. Uh, I think context is really important. So w when you when you make a decision like that to to educate the rest of your group, you know, execute one to educate a thousand. If we're with the captain, there's there's a difference, I think, because the captain plays Gaz a couple of roles. Yeah, you, you've been so, captain for a so long he, time. So he's been dropped on form, but he's also bring. So you, when you're captain, you bring form and leadership. So yeah. what if they've effectively said, there'd be a lot of leaders who have been, who have, whose form been a bit shaky, but because their leadership is so important and strong, they hold on, and then they're given the time to bring their form back around. What they've said effectively now is, your form's no good and your leadership's no good, so because, you're out. Because if you, if you were doing it on form. Well, there were plenty of guys that could have been dropped along with him. So, so Jeremy Cameron hasn't had a great year. Helmelberg's kicked one goal in the last month. Josh Kelly at various stages this year for the player he is and can be. He hasn't been in great form. So if it's just on form to go and drop your captain, I understand not being held captive by talent. But I feel like the context, there's got to be another layer to it. Doesn't it? And so, so now the element the of trust and the relationship... Yeah. The captain-coach relationship is a, is a huge relationship because you are the bridge from the players yep. to the coach. And I just wonder how it's how it's going to be now moving forward. I was surprised with the timing of it. Yeah, early in the year... He was, look, let's, let's be honest, he's had a horrible season compared to his standards, apart from his games in Perth. Six thought, weeks ago we were talking about this. Yeah, Tom Morris gave us the he story. Did, yes. He went pretty strongly on it. But clearly there were some discussions held. Clearly there were some discussions. I think they probably, if they're going to pull it, they should have pulled the trigger. For me, the timing was, was not great timing, I thought, last week. Just so, you know, you want your captain there. He's the spiritual leader of that club. And that's probably part of his problem with leadership. He's such a giving person. They love him up there. But maybe he needs to get better at, um, you know, passing on some of the responsibility of being captain. Just remember... The reason he became captain is what he's already done mm. or what, he, what he's proven to that group. So he just needs to continue on that, not try and do more. And sometimes he might be just a young captain, an inexperienced captain, trying to do too much and it's affecting him in his own performance. So this hopefully will be a wake-up call, albeit I thought the timing was a bit strange. It's, the challenge now is that they, they set the standard. The coach and the captain yep. set the tone and the standard for the summer. So they're going to go... I don't think, see how they could bring him back. I don't, well, mate. We can't see him playing this week. I don't see how they bring him back. Hey, you why, go, not, why not? Drop him for one week and then bring him back for the last week. What's he done in the ensuing week to ensure that he comes back? Well, no-one's well, no done anything, really. Well, it'd be a well, scratch that, match, a 10 v 10. So but you, we'll, you've seen... We'll but prove you've seen it as, point then and drop it. Well, you've seen a reset. To send a message. Trying to reset and send a message. Worked. Yeah, well, it didn't work, so that's right. So and I think we'll, that that's why... The, the context is so important because if you're dropping him on form, I'm not sure you, you, you're going to achieve the desired well, If you dropped message. him on form, you wouldn't bring him back after. Well, I'll tell you what, well, if you dropped we, him on form, there would have been some very guilty players sitting there thinking, oh, Jesus. Oh, hey, do we know it's worked? Do, do, do we know was. it's. There probably were some guilty players that were walking around looking around the corner. Do we know it's worked, not worked yet, though? Well, I, we've only got one sample. Yeah, really? I don't think we've got enough for sample size. So, so we haven't on... even seen his own performance yet. And we haven't seen the impact on the on the team going forward from a long-term point of view. Anyway, do, this do, you is you some is... credit, eh? for, do you give Leon some credit for, for making the hard decision? Well, I think in many respects, Brave this is decision. Leon yeah, Cameron. So I think we've got to give credit to he's, Leon for... for he's, just signed him, he's just been re-signed for a couple of years. This decision isn't about this year. To me, this is, decision is well, about... Resetting the standard for next year, and there's a few that need to reset. Jeremy Cameron, he's given a little bit more, but again on the weekend, we haven't seen him grab a game by the scruff of the neck and get him across the line. And the one against Melbourne was one where it was the one. Yeah, well, I mean, that, this was a good game of footy from two teams that had a, they all had a crack. Yeah. I mean, just you, a your degree. I don't, yeah, this is probably a little unfair on Jeremy, but. This is the bottom line is, this is the super team, the Ferrari, the talent, the, the, they've gone final, final, prelim, grand final. Now they're not, they're not playing finals. That's what we get out of this, unless something miraculous happens on the weekend. And, and, and they've dropped their captain two weeks out from the end of the home and away season. So where are they at as a footy club? Where are they at yeah, right well, now? Even Core declaring today that he's, he's not going to be at the club next year. I mean, I think that's... It's quite symbolic at the moment of a side that, that doesn't quite know exactly where they're at. And the other thing is, too, uh, 
the, the, the game, we, we've talked about their game style and all that sort of stuff. And, the, you know, the, this year they're having the least inside 50s, but scoring the best out of anyone yeah. in the competition. But the whole footy world was screaming, saying, you can't but you can't win games of footy that way. Well, they were playing some decent footy in the first half of the year. They beat Good to Geelong, watch. they beat Collingwood, and they beat Richmond. Yeah. Uh, and then they flipped their game style in the second half of the year. And look what it's done to them. It's done nothing for them. They've played some horrible football the last probably eight weeks. So they need to establish their brand of football, not fall into what the rest of the competition doing or what Richmond's doing. They need to establish a style that's built for them. Yeah, I don't think the ball being condensed in their forward half is good for a Jeremy Cameron. He's no. not a power forward like Charlie Dixon. It's good for Port Adelaide. They've got big ball midfielders to play rest in the forward line and Charlie Dixon. So they need to establish a brand of footy that works for them. And more importantly, they need to get their fundamentals right. Because too many of their best players, especially in midfielders, they just had bad years. Well, dr- drop them. And, and get, so well, Tom, drop one. Tom Green came in on the weekend as a quality kid that had 30 touches. Where's Caldwell and Hately and O'Halloran and Hill and these blokes? You're playing Reed, you're playing Lloyd, you're playing Mumford. Mumford's had his time. I mean, that's an indictment on that footy club. Who else are they going to play, though? Mum, I we, just we, told we, you. No, Caldwell, no, Hately. No, 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 is he going to play in the ruck? I'm saying no, no. in the ruck. Who's going to play well, in the ruck? Well, play, well, they're going to go and find play, play another ruck. This is an indictment on the footy club. Well, mate, Jacob's 34. It's an indictment on this footy club. They've got a, got a bloke who's gay footy away and went boxing to come back in and lead their charge to a grand final. Know, but he, goes, need... he goes around... He, 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 what impact he had on a game, Shane Mumford? Yeah, I, I, I think he has an impact. Oh, on their mid, to, I, think he has he a, I think he has an impact where? on the psyche of that mid... He got him to a grand final last year. Does he? Yeah, absolutely. I think the presence he shows. Now, he we know he's issue. at the end of his career he and, he, an sh- and he shouldn't, they shouldn't be relying no, on him. You're right. blokes thinking, no, no. thinking he's being big and tough. Well, you know, mate, it's not a... It, it, it's, you might say it's an indictment, but he gives them a lot. He gives them that much talent on your list, you can trade in and out for players, and you got the bloke, a former boxer running around. But they the haven't been able to nail the ruckman, though. Biggest they problem been able right to get there that. for them is that if they've paid uh, too many of them too much, you're letting Zach Williams out the door. And if you want to play Tsunami, you need to have players that can play it. And if Zach Williams is not there, then your elements of the tsunami getting that well, ball off the back Is it line. Kelly or Williams, Jared? Well, this is the problem. They have to make that call. It should be all of them. They needed to get the the cap at the at the level where you could get them all. Maybe they have to lose one lot. though, to so they don't lose those kids that Jared, they're, they're, they're Gary's talking 10. about. They've lost ten Brownie. Well, let's move on because yeah, uh, one of them may end up at the Blues, and the Blues need some assistance through the middle of.